Hide Shamak MD. One of the most effective naturally occurring compounds that can be used for cancer is something that we just don't get enough of, similar to many other healthy things. Selenium, yes, the mineral selenium has been shown through multiple, multiple studies to be effective for cancers such as breast cancer, esophageal cancer, prostate cancer, bladder cancer, liver cancer. Not many of us get the recommended 200 micrograms of selenium needed. Most of us in America get about 60 to 100 micrograms per day through dietary sources. This means it could be good to explore and research into the possibility of supplementation or diet, and I'll tell you more what you can take to help with that. Selenium was first used in conventional medicine as a treatment for dandruff. You might have seen a lot of popular dandruff shampoo brands have selenium in them. However, our research has come a very long way since then, and it has shown that selenium in conjunction with vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta carotene has been actually shown to block reactions that block free radicals. And as a reminder, free radicals are something that can disrupt the DNA, lead to degenerative diseases, as well as cancer. Selenium also stops damage DNA molecules from replicating. So in a way, it stops cancer from tumors from replicating those cells. It contributes towards the death of cancerous and precancer cells. Their death appears to occur before they replicate, thus helping stop cancer before it gets started, says Dr. James Howenstein in A Physician's Guide to Natural Health Products That Work. In addition to preventing the onset of disease, if someone does have a disease or does have cancer, selenium has been shown to help even in these situations in which the disease is already present. Using selenium alongside with vitamins A and E has been shown to reduce the toxicity of the actual chemotherapy. The mineral also helps to enhance the effectiveness of chemo, radiation, and hypothermia while minimizing damage to the patient's normal cells, thus making therapy more of a selective toxin, says Patrick Quillen in Beating Cancer with Nutrition. In a 1996 study in the University of Arizona, it was shown how important selenium is in cancer prevention. In a study of 1,300 older people, those who took 200 micrograms daily for seven years had a more than 40% of reduction in getting cancer. And according to a study published in JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association, those taking selenium, cancer deaths were cut in half. While the studies show that the mineral protected against all types of cancer, it particularly very much helped with prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, and lung cancer. Although research has found that too much selenium can also be toxic to our system, the thing is most of us are not getting enough selenium to begin with. The great news is that there are many dietary sources of selenium. Mushrooms, egg yolks, muscle meats, like liver and kidney, those have a lot of selenium. As far as vegetables, garlic, onions, broccoli, asparagus, um, those are rich in selenium as well, and so are a lot of grains and seeds. However, one thing to make note of is the amount of selenium that you find in food is directly proportional to the soil that it's grown in, and many times we don't have access to what foods came from what soil. So it's a little tough to actually know the measurement. It's actually a measure of volcanic ash. So the more volcanic ash in the soil, the more volcanic, the more selenium in the foods you're eating. 
And of course, none of us know that. And what's interesting is that China, who has an extremely high rate of cancer, the soil in China is pretty much completely deficient in selenium and zinc. Another reason that it's difficult for us to get selenium in our nutrition through our diet is a lot of times the processing of foods strips away the selenium. For example, when wheat, if it's turned into bread, white bread, the selenium is ripped off. One way to get more selenium in your diet is to eat more organic food, which has been shown to have higher levels of selenium and vitamin E and beta carotene, which vitamin E and beta carotene together with selenium has been shown to be very favorable for cancer prevention. So a way to get selenium is to supplement. But if you're not into swallowing a pill, there is something very special you can take. The Brazil nut, which is grown in very selenium rich soil in Brazil. One Brazil nut has 120 micrograms of selenium. And remember, in all the studies that helped with cancer prevention and cancer, helping cancer, it's 200 micrograms per day. So one Brazil nut has 120 micrograms. So if you have two of those, you've satisfied your requirement. Another interesting tidbit about selenium is people who eat the right amount of selenium, at least at 200 micrograms a day, tend to be in better moods than people who don't. Um, this is also shown in a study. The best thing to do is just you know, have the Brazil nut and also eat organic and eat selenium rich foods. So there are many ways in which selenium works. As I referred to in the past, um, selenium blocks an enzyme that leads to free radicals. So you're having less free radicals. And also research has shown that it actually um, stops cancers from growing. And in test tube studies, selenium actually inhibited tumor growth, which means if somebody already has cancer or tumor forming may may not even be aware of, it can actually inhibit the growth. In fact, it's one of the only components that the FDA has actually said something favorable with about selenium and cancer. There's actually a qualified health claim, which a lot of people don't know. It's very difficult to get a qualified health claim, you pretty much have to provide mountains and mountains of scientific data and studies. It's like suing the FDA. It's very difficult, but there was a physician um, who was able to get selenium under this qualified health claim having to deal with cancer. So there's more than enough data for those of you that are very data driven showing the benefits of this mineral for cancer. There are many, many, many countless studies on selenium and cancer. So I would suggest that you also do your own reading, go to PubMed and do the research and you will find everything you need to find. Very specific percentages, as in if you take 200 micrograms per day, if all the women took 200 micrograms a day of selenium, statistically we would not have breast cancer in the future. Um, there's a reduction, you know, 40% prostate, a larger percentage breast cancer. So really do the research and see. Um, but it's something that we should all incorporate more of this mineral in our nutrition. This is Shamik MD from shamikmd.com.